what is going on guys it is the 2019 oscars tonight all right and uh guess what else is tonight the bad movies 2019 oscars okay these are going to be my picks but it's also going to be the predictions of what i think is going to win tonight all right so i have them all written down on this envelope just like the awards you know and i can uh take nothing out of it because there's nothing in it but i can read them because i wrote them down so all right so you know what let's go from worst category well last category to uh, the best category you know just like the oscars would do all right so we're going to start with the uh, visual effects uh so my pick for visual effects is going to be first man because i think it you know really blended with the real world around it uh, very well and it looked very re uh, realistic and i think that's what visual effects you know are meant to be you know they're supposed to blend in with the real actual movie and i think that's going to win uh best visual effects at the oscars too because you know space man i mean it always wins all right uh let's see for makeup i think there's only one clear choice uh vice because, I mean, Christian Bale transformation and everybody else's transformation, like uh, Steve Carell and uh, Amy Adams, you know, I don't know, everyone in that movie, you know, Sam Rockwell, uh, you know, makeup and hairstyle in that movie was really great, and I think it's, you know, it's my definite pick, and I also think it's going to win at the Oscars, too. So, two in a row for my pick and my Oscar prediction. All right, next is sound editing. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of great sound editing last year, but uh, I'm going to have to pick Bohemian Rhapsody because that, I think that was the best sound editing. Uh, I think Bohemian Rhapsody is probably going to win the, the Oscar for best sound editing too, just because, you know, any movie with music is going to have great sound editing. That's just a fact, unless it sucks. So, all right. Uh, film editing? Uh, there wasn't... A clear choice for me to pick for best film editing uh, but I'm gonna have to go with Bohemian Rhapsody again and I'm gonna have to predict that that's gonna win the best film editing category at the Oscars tonight also so look at that all of them have been the same uh, for my pick and the prediction so far except for this next one which is kind of like that but costume design uh, i'm gonna have to give this to the favorite i think it had great costume design for every single character in every single scene i was just blown away in every single scene looking at all the characters and their outfits it was really great and i think that the actual oscar will go to black panther or the favorite i think it's pretty i don't know it's gonna be a hard competition because i think the academy wants to give lots of awards to black panther and you know the favorite i think is really great so i it could be either of those ones. yeah i don't know okay all right guys i am back from eating dinner and it's time to move on to sound mixing uh sound editing and sound mixing are very close categories you know pretty much uh very close in terms of uh what what they're about so you know obviously i'm gonna give it to uh, bohemian rhapsody and I think that Bohemian Rhapsody will probably win it too. But again, it's a very close category. Very, uh, very good nominees in, uh, for all the movies. So any, any of them could win, really. All right, production design. Uh, I really think production design should go to the favorite. And I think it will win because, I mean, every, I mean, the production design was just incredible. The whole movie. Uh, all the sets were super beautiful and looked very authentic. And it was just really great design in every aspect of the movie. Should win. All right, let's see. Cinematography. Oof. Now this is a category. Uh, I think that the cinematography should go to A Star Is Born because I think that we're just incredible colors the whole time. You know, red and blue, and contrasting. You know, good and bad, and you know, stuff like that. I don't know. It was very good. Uh, Every, right from the beginning, it was beautiful to look at. Bradley Cooper's direction combined with the cinematography just created a beautiful movie that just never stops being beautiful. 
for its entire runtime. Um, let's see, song, best song? Uh, obviously, Sh uh, Shallow from A Star Is Born. Uh, that's gonna win no matter what. I think, is that like the only song being performed at the Oscars? I mean, it's gonna win, no question. All right, score. Uh, I think that the score should go to Mary Poppins Returns. I really love the music in that so much. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously Mary Poppins, you know, has a lot going for it already because it has great music. Uh, but Mary Poppins Returns just, it was really great. Uh, but I think it'll probably go to If Beale Street Could Talk. I haven't even seen the movie, but uh, a lot of people were talking about it. I listened to the score a little bit, and the music is very good. And so it'll probably go to that. Um, animated feature, uh, Into the Spider-Verse. I mean, it's just such a good movie. It was really incredible. So yeah, animated feature, I think that's going to go to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So definitely the best animated feature of the year, and I really can't see anything else winning. You know, I doubt Pixar is going to win with uh, Incredibles 2. If they do, that's kind of just baloney. Alright, uh, best foreign language film? I mean, it's, it's going to be Roma. Is there any questions about that? It's going to be Roma. That's my pick, and that's what's going to win. It's almost definite. Alright. Original screenplay, um, I'm gonna have to go with Vice for my pick. It was just so funny and so creative and unique, and I think it definitely deserves the award. But I think that it might go to Green Book just because that's just such a feel-good movie. That, you know, people love, people love that. You know, um, let's see, adapted screenplay. Uh, I think that Black Klansman was the best adapted screenplay of the year, and I think it will win. So my pick and the prediction. All right, uh, directing. Uh, I think that Bradley Cooper should win directing. Now, if you look up best director uh, nominees for 2019, you will see that Bradley Cooper is not nominated. But I think he should win anyway. They should, uh, I don't know, bring him in because I think that was the best directing of the year. But it'll probably go to Alfonso Cuaron for Roma. Uh, I don't think there's really too much argument over that. Uh, but yeah, I really love Bradley Cooper's directing. Uh, let's see, supporting actor. Uh, I think it's going to go to Mahershala Ali, and I think that he was the best out of all the nominees. There was a lot of great uh, nominees this year, but he just had so much screen time, and so many lines, and so much time to act that I think that it'll go to him. He just had the most time to have a good performance, so I liked it. All right, uh, let's see, supporting actress. Um, you know, I think it's probably gonna come down to the favorite for supporting actress since they have two nominees this year. Um, my pick would be Emma Stone, but I think that Rachel Weisz might pull ahead and actually win the award. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, let's see, for best actress, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, my pick would be Lady Gaga or uh, Yalitza Paricio. I, Yalitza Paricio. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, either of them would be uh, great if they won. I think they both gave phenomenal performances. But it'll probably go to Olivia Coleman uh, for the favorite. Um, you know, she was very good. Uh, let's see. And she's also actually for best actress. Olivia Coleman is also, you know, an older actress, and you know they might want to give awards to older people because you know they might die soon. All right. So uh, <coughs> best actor. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Rami Malek for my first choice. Although Bradley Cooper is a very, very close second. Uh, so I think I think Rami Malek will win though. He's won pretty much all of the other acting awards this year, and I think he's going to win the Oscar also. Um, so now it comes down to Best Picture. Now, if you saw my Best Picture nominee uh, ranking video, then you'll know that A Star Is Born is my pick for Best Picture. I think that was the best movie of the year, uh, but I think it's going to go to Roma. I have a very strong 
uh, feeling that Rome was going to win Best Picture. And, you know, that was my second choice, and it's a very good movie. I mean, it's pretty hard to compare those two movies because they're pretty different, but I think Rome was going to take it. Although, Star is Born, you know, I definitely recommend everyone see it. And I would be super happy if it wins. But, I'll be happy with Roma too, you know. They're all good movies. Actually, I think Paddington 2 should win all of them. <laughs>